Hello, welcome to my tor tutorial on volumetric clouds. Um, this is what we'll end up with, and I'm somewhat basing this off of Blender Guru's tutorial. Except for he had a written one, this is a video version. All he had was a speed model. Anyway, so let's get started. This is what we'll be creating. And that's about it. So what you want to do is open a Blender and have your new document. Oh, for this you'll need the 2.5 whatever is the latest not the latest stable the latest version just hit new I think it's maybe oh there we go go 3D view and you have your cube and the first thing you want to do is you want to create one thing. You want to go to this modifiers tab, add modifier, subdivision surface, and then a view. You want to hit two and do four for each of these. Then over here, you want to hit the shading to smooth and then go ahead and apply your subsurface modifier. Now I'm going to start going a bit faster. Next thing you want to do is you want to go over to your materials, your textures tab. Go ahead and just have this. And um, I do have a sticky over in my other on the other monitor, so don't think I have like super memory. Uh, this has all the stuff on it. Um, what you want to do is you want to have on this first one you want it to be cloud and you want it to be hard and for the um and for the size you want to keep it and put it at one and you want to set depth to just like the depth at two and do the same do make a new texture Put the size to 0 0.05 and the depth to 6. Um, you want to leave this one on soft. And for the next one, you want to hit the same thing, but for this one, you want to go. Size is zero. Depth is six again. Leave it soft. Now what you want to do is you want to go to all of them. And down here, uncheck the color influence on all of them. Okay, so now that that's done, you want to go ahead and start adding modifiers. You want to go over to your modifiers tab, add modifier, displace. Then what you want to do is you want to go to texture, hit text, set the strength to Zero point five. Um, then you add a SS. Um, change these both to one. Minimize that. Then you add displace texture. With the strength down to about point two, add another SS another displace. And 
and change the st strength down to about 0.1. And I've got this really bumpy thing going here. The last thing I'm going to do is add one more subsurf. And we're almost good to go. So the next part is, you want to go to tab and you want to just have your thing here. I want to just switch it to wireframe so it'll be faster. I'm going to my screen recorder though, so I don't know if it'll help much. Next thing you want to do though is you want to hit O to turn on proportional editing and then you just want to kind of grab the bottom point or on the, um, and then just kind of let's switch it to orthographic and kind of grab the bottom part of it Raise it up, deselect, kind of grab around in there, just kind of grab random parts, just pull them out. So I'm probably going to cut the video over and just kind of keep just grabbing random stuff and I'll see you whenever I'm done shaping my cloud. Okay, I'm back. I've finished shaping my cloud out. And so the next part you want to do is you want to go over to the materials tab and just have this normal material. But if you were to go and hit render right now, all we'd see is this. And that does not look pretty. So if we go out of that, we can what we do is we select it and we hit volume and what we want first thing we want to change is we hit density scale well first I'll show you what it looks like as just default settings it already will look much better so see you can already see how, it look, how it's looking better Anyway, what you want to do is change the density scale to 0 0.5. Then you want to change the reflection to 0.3. And resolution to 100. And then you want to change the step size to 0. 0.5. Two, like that. Now, if we could render it, render it out, we will see as soon as it's done rendering what it will look like. And that's what our cloud's going to look like. Let's go ahead and add in the sky by going to this world tab and blend sky. Change the zenith color something around there horizon color ah, disappeared just something about like that 